Okay, in this little uh, slide here, I want to give you some examples of some vertical curves. Uh, actually, do some calculations and what you would expect as you use this stuff. So again, here's some just the pictures we showed you before as to what you could be doing in your design and what you'd be having to do to calculate elevations along uh, the bridge, the footpath, the, whatever it is, whatever type of curve that you're calculating. So, so we want to show you how we're going to do something like that, what some typical examples would look like. So if I told you this, so given a plus 3% uh, grade intersects a uh, minus 2.4% with a PVI of 46 plus 70, with an elevation at the PVI of 853.48, and I'm also telling you that the length of the whole vertical curve is 600 feet. So I want you to com compute the elevations at all full stations. So let's, uh, let's just draw first what, the, what this is and what we're looking like. Okay, so if I took, here's 3%. And there's, uh, there's minus 2.4, plus 3.00%, minus 2.40%. Okay, now what we're looking like on an overall average when you put this vertical curve in is something like this. Now I told you here, the length from here to here, the whole thing, L is equal to 600 feet, or you can write it at L is equal to six stations six full stations long. Okay, now what I'm telling you, at right here, this was defining to help us out. Um, I'm telling you that that has a certain uh, station given to it. So I'm at 46.7000 uh, stations. Uh, again, that's the same way of writing it this way. Those are equal. Okay, uh, and, and then this right here has an elevation then. 853.48 feet. So if you had a uh, X and a Y, so that's what you're looking at. At this spot over here is 853.48. Now what we're looking at and what we're trying to do is we want to calculate the uh, elevations at all full stations. So what that means is um, we need to calculate and figure out where we're starting where we're ending, and what full stations are. And when I say full stations, you can see right here, I told you before, a full station was 100 feet. We well, can see right here, what I'm doing is, um, you want to get to a full even station, which means that if I'm at 46 plus 70, um, or rather I'm at 46.7000 stations, what I want to be at full stations when we discuss that, I want to be at 47.00 stations, 48.00 stations, 49, so forth. Those are every full stations. So that is what we're talking about. That is what we're trying to do and, uh, and figure out. So keep that sketch in mind of what we just did. Okay. So now that I can show you the questions and how to be able to compute what it is we're looking for. So I can get rid of some of this. Almost there. Okay. So now, let's compute first the station at the BVC and the EVC. Or the same thing, compute the stations at the PVC and the uh, uh, PVT. Okay. So that's what we're looking at trying to do, is just compute the stations first. So remember how I wrote this. This is the same thing as 46.70 stations. And then we know that our length is the same thing as 6.00 stations. So that'll help us out as we compute this. So to calculate the, the PVC, the beginning of vertical curve, all that is is remember our, when we do our stationing, this is in the horizontal. So we take the station at the PVI and we take and we subtract L over 2, so half. Uh, and then you end up with 43 plus 70, which is the same thing as taking then 46.70 minus 3 stations is equal to 43.70. So again, keep in mind how you can write this either way. Now let's calculate the, uh, the PVT or the, uh, the end of your, uh, curve of vert uh, um, your vertical curve right there. So it's, a, it's just the opposite direction now. It's your PVI plus L over 2 is equal to 49 plus 70. So again, you're right at 46.70 plus 3 stations 
that's equal to 49.70. Or again, you write it in station notation just like that. Okay, so there you go. We've got, uh, we've got stationing along there. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to compute the elevation at the, uh, the beginning of the vertical curve at your PVC. Uh, so to do that, remember what we have, we have a grade at 3% up to the PVI. And here's our PVC. And this is plus 3.00%. Well, we know the distance right here between there and there is L over 2. 300 feet or uh, three full stations. Okay, to do that, that's just a simple calculation of, uh, of taking a general slope equation. If we know an elevation here, we know what the slope is at uh, 3%. We can then calculate what the PVC is. Now, the one thing, too, I'd failed to mention is you see that we, if grade 1 is a positive, grade 2 is a negative, then we have what's called a crest curve. All right, so to compute the elevation of the BVC, of your PVC, or however you want to call it, um, all that is, it's uh, you take your elevation at the PVI, and then we, we do our slope formula. Now, re remember and recall, what did I tell you that G1 is? It is the percent grade, and that's how we're going to use this. The formula is going to be using the percent grade times L over 2, and this is going to be in stations. So to do that, you have the A53.48 minus plus 3 times 6 over 2. That's how you calculate it. Right, it's minus because we're going back down, going opposite direction of what the slope is, so we're subtracting that. So it's 853.48 minus 9, which equals 844.48. Last thing we're going to compute right now to get us going and get started is we need to compute R. R is the rate of change of grade. Remember, it's that constant change as you're going through the whole curve. And we told you that the equation of R is equal to G2 minus G1 divided by 2. All right, so if you do that exact formula right there, again, using the grade, using the percent grade, that's what we're using. So minus 2.4 minus a positive 3 divided by 6 is equal to minus 0.9% per station. That's what, we're, that's what we're telling you here. Okay, so now that we've computed that, now we can get to the point of we can compute elevations at all full stations. So if you look right here, here then is your full stations. 43 plus 70 to 44, that's only a part station. But now from here to here, full station, full station, full, 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 and part. Okay, that's, uh, so that's what, we're, uh, that's what we're doing now. We want to be able to compute the elevation at this point, this one, here, here. All these points along that curve, so that way as we do our design, we can properly construct it and build it. So this is just a good diagram as to what, uh, what it is we're looking for. Uh, the best